I think one thing we've noticed with a lot of members is that doesn't get taught very often is that health is a skill. No one is born knowing how to be optimally healthy. It's just like basketball or learning a new instrument or anything else that you just learn and that takes time, effort, and guidance to learn like any other skill. And most of our members are very successful in other areas of their lives. They're very successful entrepreneurs, business leaders, parents. Uh, you know, they're very good at hobbies and they just don't seem to have that system down yet for health. But would you agree that a lot of them, I think a lot of people in general don't or underestimate just the time it takes to learn the skill and the patience that they're going to have to develop when they constantly see some growth, maybe a step forward, a step backward, sorry, and then two steps forward and a sawtooth pattern, but an overall general in improvement in health, but some weeks are worse than others. Would that, is that something fair to say that patience and this idea of help having, keeping people honest about this is a skill. Sometimes you will move backwards. You will be uncomfortable. It's going to be hard. It's not always fun. It's not always 10 minutes a day. Yeah, with my clients, I know that's one thing I really reiterate quite a bit with them is how do I not beat myself up over time when I do take maybe a step backwards or I'm having a hard week that just that present focused awareness is okay and that you can say hey i am not at my best today that is at your best because you're recognizing it just being able to recognize it alone is making you better it's that radical honesty and having the mindset change that's really going to see long-term growth and i think once people start to understand hey i can have a bad day and still be at my best then we're really starting to see huge leaps forward and again it's a skill we have to practice it. We have to learn it. We have to fail in order to get better sometimes. And it's uncomfortable to do, but when we're honest with ourselves, we're always moving in the forward direction, even if it doesn't feel like it. Brian and Kevin, have you had any difficulty imparting that idea that health is a skill? I know Ashley said here, learning healthy habits takes longer than learning them as if you were a blank slate, which totally makes sense. How do you get them across that initial how do you get them that activation energy, if you will, or to get them across that hurdle? Yeah, I think the one, one problem that we, we face a, a lot for some of these things is people think, oh, this should be easy. We talked earlier, Ravi, about that this is a skill and this, this, is, this can be hard. People have this idea in their head. Again, I, I keep using the example of exercise, maybe because, yeah, we're talking to Brandon here. But, um, oh, exercise should be easy. I, I, can, I, can, I should be able to walk every day or I should be able to go to the gym. It's that retraining and recognizing that no this is not easy and that it's going to take time and i think too just as human beings most of us i'm certainly guilty of this we're really bad about our perception of time and how long things take in the first place right we always are underestimating how or excuse me yeah underestimating how long things will take whether it's starting a a new habit or exercise you know getting into an exercise routine or you know, doing the laundry, like we're really bad uh, estimating how long things will take. So kind of setting the stage, recognizing those facts that things are harder than you realize and things are going to take longer than you realize as, as the coach, just reinforcing that and also keeping track of the small wins along the way. Because again, we Campbell touched on it, like most of us, many of us uh, and many of our clients have this picture in their head that progress is going to be totally linear. That it's going to be this, let's say weight loss. It's I'm going to lose two pounds a week every week for, for you know ten weeks, and then I'll be at my my twenty pounds. It's never that way. It never is for anything. You know, it's 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 a series of stops and starts and successes, and and the the road is bumpy. And when we're in it, it's easy to feel all of those bumps really really profoundly. But when you zoom out and see that trend line, you know, it, does, it can often look fair, fairly linear. So it's just a, a reminder to zoom out, kind of view that trend line, not, not get hung up on every stop, every, every challenge, every barrier of maybe on those days, like Campbell mentioned, that we're not feeling our best.